So Smart Summon and soon Auto Park takes on the full beautiful mess of parking lots and their human to human nonverbal communication. I think it has actually the potential to have a profound impact in changing how our civilization looks at AI and robotics, mm -hmm. because this is the first time human beings, people that don't own a Tesla, may have never seen a Tesla or heard about a Tesla, get to watch hundreds of thousands of cars without a driver. Yeah. Do you see it this way, almost like an education tool for the world about AI? Do you feel the burden of that, the excitement of that, or do you just think it's a smart parking feature? I do think you you are getting at something important, which is most people have never really seen a robot, right. or and, and what what is the car that is autonomous? It's a four wheeled robot, right? Yeah, but it, it communicates a certain sort of message with everything from safety to the possibility of what AI could bring to its current limitations, its current challenges, its what's possible. Do you feel the burden of that, almost like a communicator, educator to the world about AI? We were just really trying to make people's lives easier with autonomy. But now that you mention it, I think it will be an eye opener to people about robotics because they've really never seen, most people have never seen a robot and there are hundreds of thousands of Teslas, won't be long before there's a million of them that have autonomous capability and the drive without a person in it. Uh, and you, you, you can see the kind of evolution of the car's personality and, and thinking um, with each iteration of, uh, of autopilot, you can see it's it's uncertain about this, or it gets, but now it's more certain. Um, now now it's moving in a slightly different way. Um, like I can tell immediately if a car is on, on Tesla autopilot because it's got just little nuances of movement. It just moves in a slightly different way. Um, it's it's it, cars on, on Tesla autopilot, for example, on the highway are far more precise about being in the center of the lane than a person. Uh, if you drive down the highway and look at how at where cars are, the human-driven cars are in, within their lane. They're like bumper cars. They're like moving all over the place. The car in autopilot, dead center. 